Hello everyone. I will show you how we can update our uh, HP ProLinear Generation um, 9 and 10 servers BIOS and firmware updates via USB bootable USB. I have made already a uh, bootable USB uh, with me. I will show you in an other video that how can you make this bootable USB. Download your latest uh, service pack from HP website and merge it with a uh, bootable USB and then boot through USB. It will automatically update all your firmware and BIOS updates with the latest patches from HP. Let's start. ILO and uh, I will I'm recording screen for you. I'll put my username and password. My server is down at the moment. I will uh, press button and it will upload update. Sorry, power up. Now I need to go to remote console. So I can start my server through USB. I need to go to the boot options from my server. So I can boot through my USB. I'm going to launch console. I will press F11 so I can select boot from my USB I have pressed F11 I will select my USB you can select from here and you can select from here I have uh, Toshiba trans memory. Just press enter and uh, you can select from here interactive firmware update version or automatic. If, it, if you will select automatic it will do everything by uh, automatically by system and it's update and reboot without your uh, information or without your uh, uh, approval so you need to go to select this one interactive firmware update version so you can see what's going on just select this It's now mounting. You can see the status. I don't have licensed ILO, that's why it's uh, disconnecting again, again and again. Just select your required uh, language and and user license agreement and press next. Now here are two options. You are going to update only smart storage administrator SSA configuration management and diagnosing. You can see two or three options uh, if you will select this one. But we are going to update firmware, so we will select this option.
now updating the basis basics you can exit you can uh, abort you can start over and you can reboot this is your help menu see now it's uh, first phase completed now we need to press next here it is showing all the comparison which is uh, already installed or uh, what is required what is not so installed version is this one for uh, supplemental data online ROM flash and available version is also this because I have recently updated it's just for your uh, demo purpose this is installed version this is new update uh, available version so just to see we can uh, do one thing if you will it's also showing that uh, boot required or not so we will select this one because in this boot is uh, optional so uh, I think loading we have selected this so we will because it's not uh, required uh, reboot so we will go to deploy and the deployment is in progress but we have selected our option just see it's now deploying the component HP firmware power pick generation 9 9.6 rpm online rom flash for linux and advanced power capping microcontroller firmware for hpe generation 9 servers it will take some time so be patient It's kicked us out because uh, it's uh, updating the ILO so it's kicked us out from uh, logging because it's now updating the required firmware it's also included ILO so we have gotten uh, logged out
need to wait till it's uh, completed then it will allow us to enter username password for ILO see it's now updated we can uh, enter through username and password again I will use now the this user Uh, just see its uh, deployment has been done you can see the view log and you can uh, uh, reboot now advanced option you can see what is there however we are going uh, because it's done there's no advanced option so we can exit or reboot I'm just going to reboot thank you very much for uh, seeing this video you are welcome.